in general in the world of illusion and in the world of illusions there are limitations it will tell you that you cannot you can you you can't you can't you can't and with those words guess what you get lost in you can't believing that you really can't but when you get into the realm of the spirit where there is no limit where you know that God is all in all and there's endless supply then you begin to realize that I can and you'll go forth and do and be and have you know, there's a lot of people that would like to tell you you can't do this because you are a woman or you can't do this because you're African-American or you can't do this because you don't have this education or this degree. There's always that personal jailer or that thing or system that wants to keep you confound to what you cannot do. But there's always those individuals that get freed from the personal jailer and the prison shakes and the jail opens up and they begin to become free to be. And today, we're going to get you free from your personal jailer, which is limitation. It's time for you to take the limits off of God. God wants to stretch you into something that you've never done before. He wants to stretch you into a home. He wants to See, your personal jailer wants to keep you in a budget. But guess what? We that are mystics realize that budgets never work. The only thing that really works is faith. And the Bible teaches us that faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. I have evidence of stuff that is not seen that I know that I know that I know that I know because as I said to you before, my mind is a bank. And my mind is the only bank I know. The other day I heard some news that I didn't like. And I said, why did I have to hear that? And God says, I'm testing your faith to see whose report you'll believe. I want everyone to say, I am unlimited supply. Say, I am unlimited supply. I am unlimited supply. Amen. And so here we begin to understand that it is God's will for us to operate in abundance. Okay, um, let's read in the latter half there, um, Prophet Kelly, the only way to be saved. The only way to be, sa to be saved from, you pers from your personal prison, jail, or jailer is to Acts, the 16th chapter, the 31st verse to the 34th verse. And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved in thy house. And they spake unto him the word of the Lord, and to all that were in his house. And he took them the same hour of the night and washed their stripes and was baptized, he and all his straightway. And when he had brought them into his house, he sat meet before them and rejoiced, believing in God with all his house. Wow. So here they had to believe in the Lord. And it was very interesting back then that when one person, when the head of the house got saved, the whole house became saved. Now that's divine order. When the head of the house got saved, the whole house came into order. And what needs to begin to happen, you need to save your head so your whole house comes in order. Your whole being will come into order when you begin to bring salvation to your mind. Once the mind gets converted, your experience becomes converted. You are not your conditions. What makes you you is your consciousness, not your conditions. The thing that makes you you is not your conditions, but it is your consciousness. You will always have conditions, but we serve an unconditional God. The unconditional one resides in me. You know, I've been dwelling in these truths. That's right. You see, I, 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 I was up until 4.30 this morning working on lessons for the next five weeks that I got lost in consciousness. There's some messages I'm getting ready to bring y'all in consciousness that's going to take y'all into a new level ah, that when people you. look at you, they're going to look at you and say, you must be hanging out with God. <laughs> Why? Because I'm learning to just keep living in my mind. My mind is my only reality. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who thought it not robbery to be equal with God. Okay, let's go now to the Lord Jesus. Amen. 
Prophet Devon, why don't you read the top one? Um, we're going to the last slide. We want you to start to get your comments ready because I want to know what you have gotten out of this lesson today. The Lord Jesus Christ is the indwelling Lord. Believe, understand a man's, a mind, Lord is internal and not external. Good. See, the, we're looking now at the Lord Jesus Christ. Who's the Lord Jesus Christ? He's the indwelling Lord. Believe. And understand that a man or a mind, see we're looking at a man or a mind, Lord is internal, not external. Which means we will find your Lord within, not without. Nobody serve an, no one serves an outside God, you only serve an inside God because it's an inside job. It's always an inside job. It's never been done from the outside. It's always done from the inside. That's why you must work out your salvation. Mm, mm. Your salvation is worked out because it's worked within so it can show itself out. Mm. When you look at me, you should be able to know who I hang out with. My effects is my afterthoughts. Amen. Okay, Prophets Deborah, continue reading. The prison, the negative condition, is not external, internal. Good. So every one of you that has been in prison, the prison is your negative condition, and the negative condition is never external, but the negative condition is always what? Internal. It's an inside job. It's internal, which means you are only as free as you are on the inside. See, your conditions cannot enslave you, nor can your environment. You've got to start living in your mind and get into consciousness where you see your way out of whatever condition that is there before you until the point comes where you don't even see that condition no more because you're living far above that. Yes. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Next point. Knowing this sets a man free saves him from the tyranny the prison of material phenomena. Good. And there's a lot of people that are trapped in the prison of material phenomena. Everyone say with me, my mind, my mind is, the only bank is the only bank that really exists. That really exists. All, other All other banks are false ideas. The only bank there is, Reverend Run, is your mind. Wow. Oh! And when your mind stops giving out zeros, zeros stop coming in. Yes. Wow. Woo. Whoa! Wow, Jesus. <laughs> I believe that with you. I want to know how many zeros have you given out? See, your conditions cannot enslave you. Nor can your environment. You've got to start living in your mind and get into consciousness where you see your way out of whatever condition that is there before you until the point comes where you don't even see that condition no more because you're living far above that. Yes. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Next point. Knowing this sets a man free saves him from the tyranny, the prison of material Phenomena. Good. And there's a lot of people that are trapped in the prison of material phenomena. Everyone say with me, my mind, my mind is, the is the only bank that really exists. That really exists. All, other All other banks are false ideas. The only bank there is, Reverend Run, is your mind. Wow. Oh! And when your mind stops giving out zeros, zeros stop coming in. Yes. Wow. Woo. Whoa! Wow, Jesus. <laughs> I believe that with you. I want to know how many zeros have you given out? 